They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. So right now I'm on my way to the mall. I key hate the mall because the people. I don't like to be in big crowds of people, especially trying to find clothes. But I had a good experience last time I came here, so I'm gonna try to work it on out. So, yeah. I'm out, another successful trip to H&M. H&M, thank you. I made it to my favorite place, well, one of my favorite places. I went to the grocery store and the gas station, but all of that is irrelevant because I'm back home and it is
So over the weekend, I went to see Toy Story 4 and it was bomb. So good, very relatable very relatable looking back there's so many gems in all of the toy stories i love with all the issues and the plots of the movies you can really you know go deep and like find the deeper implications of the message that they're trying to i guess convey you know how past toy stories have dealt with the fear of replacement the feeling of inadequacy uh getting older breaking down body breaking down that's that's hella relatable to me this one in particular, and I'm not giving spoilers because this is a no spoiler zone. But this one in particular dealt with seeking your purpose. You know, like imagine you going on a path for so long and now you're at this place where you just, you're starting to feel empty, like you're starting to feel lost. Like you lived a certain way for so long and now it just is not feeling the same. You're not feeling that spark, you're not feeling that not money but like you're not feeling that that warm fuzzy feeling inside i guess i legit wanted to cry in the theater and not just because it was sad because it is ending a chapter like all the 90s kids out there knows that you know toy story is one of the og movies and you know it was just like kind of full circle and just it's it's hard to say goodbye it's so hard to say goodbye. but i i also felt the urge to cry because I started to reflect in my own life and I realized that I need to get comfortable with the idea of change. Now I'm the type of person I love living in my comfort zone but in all honesty my comfort zone is not going to get me to the place where I need to be to live my best life. Like I'm right here my best life is like Okay, I have to prepare myself in all aspects to go to places that make me uncomfortable so I can gain all the knowledge, uh, to gain all the knowledge, gain all the experience so I can take that to my next chapter. So two messages to this video today. Go watch Toy Story. It was a great movie. Like even if you don't want to look at the deeper side of it, it was very funny. I was screaming. I was like laughing. The whole shebang but the second message is to remember that your comfort zone only provides you temporary satisfaction and to be completely honest i struggle with that the only solution to that is challenging myself to do new things to do things that you know make me feel i don't want to say completely uncomfortable but just things that you know push me push my limit a little bit you know you know get out of that comfort zone because I'm not going I feel like staying in your comfort zone forces you to be stagnant so I'm going to end this video off oh uh, uh. so I'm going to end this video off saying that I am going to do better I affirm that today i am going to do better i am going to be better i don't know why i'm in the mood to sing stuff but it's starting to annoy me so i need to stop but uh thanks for watching if you're watching please like comment and subscribe and i want you guys to interact with me so if you plan on watching toy story 4 or you've already seen toy story 4 Give this video a like and also if you struggle with staying in your comfort zone, getting out your comfort zone, comment down below and let's relate, let's talk, let's discuss. But yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye! Goodbye to yesterday